For our next adventure, we're gonna install Tasmoda on a Sonoff over the air. That is, without connecting the Sonoff to our computer at all. If, like me, you're not a computer programmer, the initial setup can take a little learning. But once you've got it up and going, flashing new Tasmodas is super simple. So let's walk through it. I usually use a Mac for most everything, but I do have a Windows PC. For this video, I thought I'd better do the over-the-air Tasmoda install on both the Mac and the PC since the setups are a little bit different and you're likely to run into different problems depending on which one you use. The first couple steps involve just grabbing the software and the files that you'll need. One thing that you'll need, if you don't already have it, is Python 3. So go to the Python webpage. There's two major branches, the Python 3 or the Python 2 point whatever it is. There must be some significant difference between them. I don't really know what it is, but for the over-the-air Sonoff script, you need Python 3. So download that, install it, and follow whatever prompts it gives you. The next thing that you'll need is Sonata. That's S-O-N-O-T-A. So go to the GitHub page, grab the zip file, download it somewhere on your computer, then extract all of the files, and again, make sure you know what folder it's going into, because you're gonna to have to navigate there from the command line. Now, if you haven't been using your Mac or your Windows PC for software development, then both will require you to install some extra tools before the Sonata Python script will work correctly. On the Mac, you type this line here, and that will install the tools you need. On Windows, it was hard. It told me I needed to install the C++ tools, and it gave me a website to go to. I had to do a bit of searching to figure out exactly what it was I needed to install. I installed the community version of Visual Studio, the 2015 and the 2017 version. Once you've installed the developer tools that you need, then go to the command prompt or the terminal and navigate to the directory or the folder where you extracted your sonata.py file. Now type this. Hopefully you won't run into any errors, but you might because I did several times. The nice part about these errors is they gave me some kind of direction about what I was missing and what I needed to install. And by reading the message and doing a little bit of searching, I was able to figure out what I had to do. Now, on Windows, when I tried to type install requirements at the normal command prompt, it didn't work. I found a blog post. They used the Visual Studio command prompt, and it worked. So that's what I did. This is where I found the Visual Studio command prompt. In the Sonata directions, they state several times in bold letters that you need to disable all your firewalls. They said that most of the problems that people run into are because of their firewall. On my Mac, I didn't have a problem. On my Windows PC, I definitely had to disable the Windows Defender firewall. Once you've got the requirements installed, on the Mac, in the terminal, you can type this. On the Windows PC, I went back to the normal command prompt, not the Visual Studio command prompt and I typed this. The Sonata script is really well done. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what you need to do. The first thing that it asks you is to enter the IP address of the computer that you're on. Hopefully only one IP address will show up. In that case, you just hit zero and enter. If at this point it shows you more than one IP address and you know which one is your Wi-Fi and which one is your ethernet, then just pick the Wi-Fi IP address and things will work from here. my recommendation would be to disconnect your ethernet either by just unplugging it or by disabling it in the settings and just use your wi-fi next it'll ask you to enter your wi-fi ssid and password so that's whatever you use to just log into your home wi-fi network now you need to get to your sonoff board and hold down the onboard button until it starts to flash rapidly fairly soon after that you should be able to see a new wi-fi network that's called it some numbers. Follow the directions in the Sonata script, which at this point will tell you to connect to that IT network. The password is the default for all Sonoffs, which is 12345678. Watch the text that comes up in the command prompt, and it will tell you to reconnect to your home network. It may even do so automatically once the IT network disappears. Once that's all done, you'll see a message that will tell you to connect to a new Wi Fi network that's called Final Stage. So just keep watching your list of available Wi Fi networks until the final stage network appears. As soon as it does, click on it and the process will continue. You don't really have to do anything at this point. Once it's done with this final stage, 
it will automatically disconnect from the final stage network and the Sonata script will end. At this point, you have flashed Tasmoda onto this Sonoff. Good job. What remains now is to finish configuring Tasmoda. Look in your list of available Wi-Fi networks and you should see one that says Sonoff and then some numbers. Connect to that. That will bring you to the main page of the Tasmoda firmware on your new Sonoff. First thing you wanna do is go to configuration and then configure Wi-Fi and put in your Wi-Fi name and password and backup if you have it. Save it and the board will restart. Now your Sonoff can connect directly to your home Wi-Fi network. So make sure you're connected to your home network, then go to your router and find the IP address of the new Sonoff. The device name will just be Sonoff and then a bunch of numbers. Hopefully you don't have another one that's called Sonoff and a bunch of numbers. And if you do, hopefully you can tell the difference between the two IP addresses. If you can't, I guess try them both. If you don't know how to get into your router and find IP addresses, you could use an app like Thing. Download it, install it, log it into your network, and it will show you all the devices that are connected to your network. From there, you can get the IP address for your new Sonoff. Once you've found your Sonoff's IP address, type it into your browser. Now you wanna go into the configuration and configure MQTT. Make the topic unique, but not so unique that you can't remember it later. Put in your MQTT broker IP address, user, and password. Again, click save and the board will restart. Last thing you wanna do, if you plan on using external switches, is again go to configuration, configure module, and select the switch that you want to use. So that's it, we did it. Now that we've got Sonata all set up, we're gonna see how fast we can flash a Sonoff over the air, right out of the box. I forgot my PC doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I need one of these Wi-Fi adapters. Don't forget to turn off the firewall. That's the way. Now we have the right IP address. Now we have to hold this. There it goes. There's, there's my IT Wi-Fi. Change Wi-Fi network to Aiden. Oh, flat. It's binking. The relays click three or four times. Three or four more times. Just clicked. Just clicked some more. This thing's going crazy. There it is. Final stage. Now we've got final stage. And there's the one called Sonoff. So if I connect to it, it just brings it up. Yeah, just brought it up. Now it's restarting. So once once I've restarted, now I need to go to my normal network and I need to go to my router or to Thing and find the IP address. There we go. Zone off. Tasmotized. There are certainly some benefits to using the over the air flashing method. The tricky part is the initial setup. But once you do get it set up and you have all the developer tools installed and you've corrected all the errors that it threw at you, now it's pretty easy. Well, that was a fun little impromptu live, just hit a thousand subscribers session. So thanks to everybody who popped in and said hi. Uh, doing a live stream like that was pretty fun. And I think it's probably a pretty good thing to keep doing. So I'll have to try and decide when to do more. Well, that's all for now. I'll do my best to keep things interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.